this episode of Skywatch, I'll be using a color night vision camera to see if I can capture meteors, UFOs, or anything else interesting in the night sky. I'll show you an unidentified object moving at a high rate of speed. We'll take a look at the full moon and Mars. And did I capture evidence of time travel? All that and more on this episode of Skywatch. to my new series called Skywatch. Before we get started, don't forget to show some love by smashing that subscribe button and clicking that notification bell so you don't miss out on future episodes. And if you missed last week's episode, make sure to check it out. We reviewed two videos of unknown flying objects and they are good ones, so you won't want to miss it. All right, let's get started. For this episode, I'm filming with a color night vision camera in a new location which is semi-blocked by the city lights. Now even though this location is darker and at a higher elevation, I'm still only 20 minutes outside the city and the light pollution is seriously bad. However, with this camera, we'll be able to see more stars and planets than the naked eye because it's extremely light sensitive. So just like the last episode, I placed the camera in four different positions, north, east, south, and west and filmed for hours in hopes of capturing something unplanned and awesome. I also filmed the moon and got some great shots of Mars which was positioned just off to the right of her. We'll take a look at that a bit later. But to start, let's take a look at some of the winged nighttime animals that were spotted this time. This first clip is of an insect and it's fast. Let me slow it down a bit so you can see it better. And here's a freeze frame. Looks cool and I think it's a moth. Okay, this next clip wasn't taken on one of the static cams. It was actually filmed while leaving, but it's keeping in theme so far with the series. It's another owl, and I spotted her sitting on a fence as I drove past. So I turned around and tried to get a shot, but unfortunately a car came driving past at the same time as she flew off. Here's what I was able to get. Look how white she is, and so beautiful. The camera did really well picking her up, especially when she landed. I actually didn't even notice that until reviewing the footage once I got home. Now let's take a look at the meteors we captured in the night sky, starting in the north. There were two meteors captured on this camera. First one was weird trajectory moving upward with the camera angle. Here it is again slowed down. The second meteor looks to be a greater distance and happens very quickly. I'll slow it down and zoom in so you can get a better look. Next, we have the East Cam, and it captured three meteors. Here's Meteor 1. Again, another odd trajectory. And not much of a tail like the other meteors I see. Like this next one, Meteor 2. This is your textbook meteor streaking down and burning out. And look at that tail. Here's the clip slowed down and in a grayscale so you can see the tail better. What a cool meteor. Okay, and the last meteor capture on East Cam is another quick one with not much detail. I'll slow it down, but it's too far away and really fast. Now on to the South Cam, where I caught another three meteors. Here's meteor number one. A long streaking meteor from top to bottom. I love this one slowed down. Here's one more look. Okay, meteor number two has less of a tail than the last one, but still a good one. Here it is slowed down and zoomed in a bit. And the last meteor on the south cam was captured at the top right of your screen. Again, I slowed it down and zoomed in so you can see it better. Pretty cool. All right, our last cam of the night was pointing west and another three meteors were captured. Meteor one was a quick one and not much to see, even zoomed in, I don't see much detail, so I'll go ahead and just move on to meteor number two, which is much better and almost in the exact location. Here it is, slow down. You can see a good tail on this one as well. And lastly, meteor three, this one came in low on the horizon. Here it is, zoomed in and slow down. Okay, that's it for the meteors on this episode, so let me know in the comments below what your favorite meteor of the night was. I think my vote is for Meteor 2 in the east with that long streaking tail behind it. This next clip I wanted to share is not a meteor or craft, and I don't think it's an insect or animal, but it's very interesting and a little weird. 
It's fast and hard to see, so I'll show it to you a few times and then I'll slow it down so we can talk about why this clip is so interesting. Take a close look as I play it again. And here it is slowed down even more. What do you guys think this is? I can tell you that the location of tonight's filming is being done from one of the most haunted locations in Orange County, California. And I will also share with you that I did bring a K2 meter with me, and if you don't know what that is, it detects and measures electromagnetic fields around you, and it was going off. Now, I wasn't there for a ghost hunt. I was sky watching, so I didn't film any of that. You'll just seem to take my word for it, but honestly, it was going off. To me, this kind of looks like a spirit or orb of some sort. And when I freeze the frame right here, do you guys see anything? Look close. To me, I think I see a face. Do you guys see it? Look again. Here it is in black and white. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think this is. And also comment if you'd like to see me do more ghost videos in the future. Okay, let's get back on track with the moon moment. I had such a great shot of Mars sitting close to the moon during Skywatch, and it's not very often we get to see this. Here's a shot with a negative filter. The moon looks so cool. And speaking of the moon, she was over 99% full this night, and boy was she shining bright. Here's a closer look. I love scanning the surface for anything weird. I've been seeing more videos of people filming crafts flying around and flashes of light on the moon's surface, but unfortunately, I didn't spot anything abnormal this time. Like always, though, I'll keep looking and share what I find with you all. Okay, that concludes tonight's moon moment. The next clip I have for you is another interesting one. This object moves fast from the top right of your screen all the way to the bottom left. It's a little hard to see, so let me slow it down and zoom in a bit. What do you guys think? And here it is in black and white. What's interesting about this object is it doesn't burn out like a meteor, the other meteors that we see. It also looks like it's flying and not falling or streaking across the sky. This is for sure not a plane. So what is this? Let me know in the comments below if you have any ideas. Here it is one last time. So interesting. Okay, now on to the next clip. But before we do, I thought it would be best to explain why I started this series and what my intentions are with filming the night sky. All my life I've been interested in the unknown, and this includes aliens and UFOs. I'm always looking towards the sky, scanning for objects or any things that are moving, and have gone years without spotting anything other than a plane, helicopter, drone, or birds. But this past November, that all changed when I spotted a perfectly round object sitting stationary in the sky above Brooklyn, New York. There I was, on a rooftop, scanning the sky like normal, and I spotted a flash of something really high in the sky. I had my camera on me, but not just any camera, a super zoom camera. So I pointed in the direction of the object, started zooming in, and out of pure luck, there it was on my screen. I was at full max zoom, and if you've seen my moon videos, you know that's far. And it was just sitting there. The object never moved. I was, though, and trying to keep steady as best I could, but I was able to film it handheld for a few seconds, and then I lost it. I scanned for a good 30 minutes afterwards, but it was gone. So, this is what led me to start filming the night sky and starting this series. Now, my intentions are a bit different. Yes, I want to capture unknown flying objects, meteors, and anything else that's cool, but mostly it's just about the unknown, verifying things for myself, and getting to share it all with you. Bucket list items are for sure a triangle craft, a flying saucer, and of course that tic-tac shape seen in the footage the US Navy released to the public. But the clip I'm about to show you is none of the above. It was filmed on one of the static night cams, and after reviewing the footage, I am convinced this is not a meteor or anything that I've seen before. It looks like an object passing through a wormhole and possibly traveling through time or bending space. Now, I know that seems far-fetched, but let me at least say there are all kinds of things that happen around us each and every day without us noticing. This has been proven with hundreds of videos and photos. 
especially when that something is moving at such a fast speed the human eye can't detect it. But with this camera and a little luck, you may catch something on film that you didn't see at the time. And that's what I have for you. So what I filmed was fast, like one second fast, happening high in the sky, late at night, and I was lucky enough to have a static cam filming on that very spot. So let's take a look at this episode's What the F is That clip. Okay, first let's start with the original clip, and then I'll slow it down and zoom it in for a better look. Watch the middle of your screen. Do you see it? It's really fast. Here it is again. Okay, now let me slow it down and zoom in. Look how it disappears. And if you look really closely, you can see these rings that form around it. And as the object passes through these rings, it seems to disappear. Let me slow it down some more and go frame by frame. See, there's the first ring. And look at the next clip. I see another small ring now and the object looks much fainter in appearance. And by the next frame, it's virtually gone. What is this? Here's the same clip with a filter to see if we can catch any other details. Again, I clearly see the rings and the object passing through them. Crazy. The more I watch this clip, the more I am convinced this object goes through these rings and just disappears. I have compared this clip to numerous meteors and this one is completely unique. I don't know though. What do you guys think I captured? Do you think this could be some form of time travel or bending space and time? Do you think this is just a meteor? Uh, you know, I would really love to know all of your thoughts on this one. Please comment below because I'm a little baffled on this one and it just looks a lot different than the other meteors, especially with the angle that it's going, uh, the rings that we see appear and how the object clearly goes through these rings and then disappears. Um, I have heard other stories of time travel or, you know, bending space and time with crafts kind of disappearing really fast. Maybe we just captured something. Uh, I don't know. So make sure you leave it in the comments below. Okay, that's all I have for you guys on this episode. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll be the first to know when I release my next episode. I've got a couple cool videos coming out soon, followed by Skywatch Episode 3, so definitely stay tuned. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all next time.